Hello everyone. I'm back today with another fun little video of how to paint a seascape. And what I'm doing here is just drawing in a really faint line where I'm going to put some clouds, a sun and the shoreline. And I'm just erasing them now so they're not so dark and I'm taking my biggest brush. It's a size 10 round brush. And you can see I'm just putting water on the watercolor paper. Can you see it's shiny there? So just water and then into the water I'm dropping some watercolor paint. And I'm just letting this kind of flow around and moving it around with my brush and just doing a really light layer here, okay? Not a heap of color, just a little bit. And now I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting water around my little sun and my clouds. So hopefully you can see it's shiny there. And now I'm dropping in my little, I'm going for a sunset today. I'm going to drop in a little sunset, some yellow, just kind of outlining the sun there and the clouds. And now I'm going in with my favorite little pink color. All my favorite sunsets are pink. Adding in the color there, a really light layer. You can add a little bit more color if you want. Just blending it in with plenty of water. And then I've gone with a deep blue. And you can see here, I am sponging off some of the color with my microfiber cloth. And if your page gets too wet, you can do that as well. I'm just adding in the little beach here, really light uh, yellow coat of watercolor paint. Same thing, you can wet it first and put the paint in. Now leave that to dry and if it's too wet, like mine is, you can just pat it off a little bit, but we do need to let it dry. So make sure you pop it aside. You can see I've just got a smaller brush here. I'm gonna add my little detail in the top there, but now I'm gonna let it dry, okay? Pop it aside somewhere. And just like that, movie magic, it's dry. Now that that coat is dry, we're gonna go in with paint on our paintbrush and water, no wet layers. We're gonna go straight in now. And you can see I'm kind of carving out my clouds and leaving some light parts, that's where my clouds are, and adding in a little bit more detail with some thicker paint. So what I mean by that is more paint, less water. And I'm going through the whole painting now, making sure to leave my original clouds nice and white and crisp. And same with my little sun sitting in the middle. I'm not gonna put any paint there. So that's the brightest part of my painting. I'm gonna move down to the little waves here. I'm using my little sponging technique with my microfiber cloth now, kind of getting rid of some of that thicker application of paint or more water that's there. Going back in and dropping in some deeper blue colors. I went with a little sand texture on the bottom here um, just with my brush and kind of wiping it backwards and forwards. And now I'm going in and darkening up some of those layers as well, I'm adding in a little bit of red on the sunset, some more beautiful magenta. The paper's still wet, so it's flowing really nicely into those colors and getting really blown out and loose, which I really love the look of. And you want to keep going here. We can keep adding layers and keep adding layers. And the more layers, the better, honestly. Look at that. Are you going to go and give it a go? I hope so.